Hi there, welcome to Hourglass Workshops and Conversations with Nancy and Cheryl. I'm Nancy Burns, I'm an acupuncturist in San Jose, California. And I am Cheryl Seavey, I am a writer and blogger in, Cal in San Jose, California as well. Well, this past weekend, I was out cleaning out a couple of cabinets in the garage, and I ran across a couple of boxes of um, baby memorabilia, kid, kid memorabilia. And two of the things that I ran across that I was so excited about were my kids' baby books. Oh, wow. Did you do them? Uh, no. I opened them up wondering what I had put in those baby books. And they were, with the exception of the name of each of the kids, and I think their birth dates, and that was about it, there was nothing else written in or um, there was stuff stuffed in them, you know, occasionally. But they were pretty darn vacant. Yeah, yeah, see, when I got Heather's baby book, it had, you know, her first tooth and the first time she sat up and her first words and all the things were documented, you know, and um, by about age one, that was the end of that. And four years later, when my son was born, um, I think I got his name in there, but um, that could have been just about it. <laughs> yeah. and it was funny because when we were growing up, I, I'm the oldest and then have three brothers. And by the time my youngest brother, Ricky, came along, he didn't have a baby book. <laughs> so we convinced him he was adopted. <laughs> Which made my mother so mad. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think, and my, I was just talking with my daughter-in-law about baby books, and she was feeling very guilty. She's got two small children, you know, two and six months. And, and you know, and I told her that I had just found the boys' baby books, and at first she goes, oh, wow, is that great? And I go, no, it's really pretty pitiful. But I said, you know what? They're grown now. They all have their teeth. They all, they all walk, and they all, you know, they all do all those things. I said, the fact that I don't know when they did them really doesn't matter. <laughs> you think you're never going to forget those things, and clearly they're gone with the wind, yes. you know? Yes. I have a sister-in-law, Rita. Hi, Rita. <laughs> Um, and, uh, she is fabulous about photo albums and stuff. I mean, she's got photo albums documenting their entire life. It's, it's so impressive. Mm -hmm. I, on the other hand, have a box of photos thrown in and then another box of some stuff and photos and some papers and some this and some that. And it's like, Someday when I die, my kids will just throw them all the garbage anyway, so who cares, yeah. you know? <laughs> well, I, I at least have sorted, I've sorted them out into three giant plastic bins. They're oh, pretty good. One for each kid, and then one miscellaneous family bin, and uh, and then they can go over it, you know, but, um, but I, you know, I, so, so I think that, I think we obviously we fall into two camps. There's your, your sister-in-law's camp. And, um, you know, the ones who are really and well. Then there's us. And then there's us. That's right. And, uh, <laughs> and, you know, and the interesting thing is, is that I felt guilty back when I had, you know, when I was younger, I thought, God, I should be doing this. But you know what? I thoroughly enjoyed the time I spent with them. Yeah. And not documenting it. Right. And that worked for me. And I'm not saying that. You know what? I'm still that way. Um, Rita's always saying, take pictures. And I always forget. I know I drive her crazy. Um, because they live up in Portland and they like to see what's going on with the family and everything. And I love looking at pictures, but I never think about taking That is true because I will text you when I want, and I'll see when you're going somewhere, I'll go, send me pictures. And, yeah. and I get one when you first get there and then yeah. forget. And <laughs> go on. Where, whereas, whereas I take pictures and then they go into the, you know, the great abyss of, um, of photos on my phone until yeah. I reach a certain yeah. point, then I offload them, never to be heard from again. So. I know, mine are somewhere in a cloud somewhere, and yeah. I'm not sure how to access them, but I know they're somewhere. Yeah, well, and, and we can also use the argument that we're kind of of two generate, you know, two um, uh, digital media. We had, you know, first we had 35 millimeter or, you know, four by six prints, and which we tried to put in albums, and then we got them into, you know, digital format, um, and so, you know, so it's quite confusing where all these pictures are. And uh, did, you, did you grow up with your t picture parents taking slides? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and in fact, when they when they died, you know, and I'm going through now, I've got big old trays of slides. Yeah. And, uh, and so do I change all those to some sort of medium? And then it only gives me thousands of pictures to go through to sort out. And um, no, and, you know, they say, oh, they're perishable. Well, I have pictures from 1949 that my dad took 
of my mom when they were uh, up in Lake Tahoe and they're still perfectly good, yeah. you know, and then I have sl uh, boxes and boxes of scenery slides from yeah. hunting, you know, <laughs> like, yeah, I'm not keeping these. They're going. If, they're, if there's not people in them, why do we keep them? Yeah. So then, then you have to ask ourselves the question, well, why do we take them? You know, but we do. Yeah. And, and Which is why I don't. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather pay attention to what I'm doing nice. while I'm there yeah. rather than be looking at pictures. It's nice to look at them later, but you know, yeah. So, well, so I, th I think, you know, too, we, we've obviously absolved ourselves of any guilt about not yeah. Having yeah. the door, at least at least with my kids. Now your kids are going to have a little bit of an argument. Well, mom loved you best because one got a photo out, one got an album. Yeah. Didn't. My kids will be equal. They they're equal opportunity children. Neither of them <laughs> have a baby book. <laughs> so anyway, so uh, so for those of you out there that have baby books, congratulations. Um, for the rest of us, um, oh okay. well. Don't be guilty about it, and um, and just enjoy the time that you have and uh, and what you're doing today. So, um, check us out on hourglass.com. Um, leave a comment on on YouTube or Facebook as to did you do baby books? Do you have a baby book? Do you care about baby books? So, um, until next time, I'm Cheryl, and I'm Nancy. Bye now. Bye.